Welcome back to Dr. Begin Loads, an episode of Skull. Not entirely sure what we're supposed to do. Can't go through this. Oh, wait. I feel dumb now. Maybe we can give the lighter to this guy? We get it. You are talking to your ninja who is hiding, and no one can see him but you. Because you have super ninja detecting vision. Ben, I already talked to all of you people. Do you say nothing? Nothing that I don't already know. You monsters. Talk to this guy. I think this door is locked. Yeah. This door is locked. And this door requires a key. Damn it! Alrighty. Still locked. Damn it! Well, nothing left to do here. Maybe there's a door down here that I just don't notice? This information patience. A fire alarm? Can we use the lighter to make it go off? But that wouldn't really help us. They're waiting for me outside. There's nothing in here. Damn it. Boxes of patient records. That's locked. Cabinet's empty. A few old coats. Can we set the coats on fire? Can we take the fire extinguisher? Can we light his face on fire? What? Oh, I'm a genius. The trash can is on fire! What did you do this? Who else would have done it, man? Seriously, though, it, it was me. I can't put the fire out. What? So we're just gonna burn the- we're just gonna let the whole building burn down? Maybe, maybe... This game has fire logic, like in One Night Full Circle, and it just won't spread anywhere. I hope that's the kind of logic this game has. That's the kind of logic I have, but it never seems to work. Yes, I have an ID card. Yes! So do I just drop things that I don't need? That's really convenient, actually. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Let's see how you like it on the floor. It does seem out of place, though. I knew it! What? But no one else is here! Are you an angel? Greetings, Aaron. My name is Virgil. I am here to guide you. You want to help? No, I can only guide you. I cannot help you. I do not understand! You will in time. Dots. Can you answer my questions? That depends on what you want to know, but in principle, yes. Well, can you tell me anything about this rot? Where did it come from? Unfortunately, I cannot answer that. But it is a disease that slowly rots the body. It is on the exterior of the body that the disease is first apparent. The internal organs are affected last. What about me? Am I also sick? I cannot tell. I am not a doctor. Maybe you should ask one. Thank you, Mr. Alien Angel Guy. I st I'll go tell- I'll go ask a doctor from holy crap they're all dying. Did you guide these people here too? Why are they all staring at me like that? Because they're greedy for your healthy flesh. Do you not see their greedy eyes? Each of them is jealous of your whole body. They want to tear off your arms and legs. How much do you want for your arm? I don't quite understand what you mean. It will not be long until I can no longer use my other arm. I want a new one. Yours. I do not care how much it costs. I'll give you however much you want. This is absurd. I have more cigarettes than you can imagine. You'll never find such an offer elsewhere. If your arm has begun to rot, it's too late. So think quickly. You can make a deal of a lifetime. What do you say? Get lost. I will never give up my arm. I want this guy's arm. You can have all the cigarettes you want. You must go, Aaron. Otherwise, that man will kill you. Damn it! Stupid cigarette bandits. Can I kill him first? I'm pretty good at killing people. Damn, what? I'm gonna kill you first. I'm gonna kill you first. Ow, holy crap, you have a weapon. You have knives? What the hell, man? Where do you even get those? Ow! You can't hit me from over there, you cheat. Screw you and your knives! Ow, my spine! 
Come on, go, come walk on these thumbtacks. They're apparently the only source of defense that I have. Or offense or something. Walk on the damn thumbtacks. Haha! -ha. I will teabag you. Damn it! This game is strangely difficult. So I just have to dodge the psycho for a certain amount of time. Damn it, he keeps hitting me with stuff. Ow! Stop doing that! You're a deuce! Just gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Keep moving and it'll all be okay. Does he have a robot? Oh, right. His face is rotting off. And he's addicted to cigarettes. You know those are bad for you, right? They're bad for your health and they're bad for my arm. Because you want to chop it off. Because you're an asshole. And I'm not going to let your asshole face take my arm. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to communicate there. The point is, I'm not gonna let you- Ow, fuck you! I'm not gonna let you get me! I am better than you! I am player one, damn it! You are just an NPC! Screw you with so many screws! No, 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 so close. Victory's at hand! 15 seconds! 15 seconds before you die a gruesome death of being stupid and ugly! And yes, that's possible! Ask your physician! You will die in 3, 2, 1, Ninja Power. I'm freaking Medusa, bitch. How low have these people sunk to try to kill each other out of greed? Everyone would do so, Aaron, if the circumstances required it. I cannot accept that. I would never sink so low. I don't wanna. Where's the exit? I wanna get out before it's too late. The door leads to the exit. Well, okay. Holy crap, are we in spaceship land? Cigarettes? What? They signify power. Everything you know, whether cast, precious metals, or valuable stones, has long since lost its value. Besides plus, cigarettes are the only valuable currency in this world. And they are the only thing that can somewhat ease the pain. Don't go in your mirror. Let, let me go in your mirror. You have good flesh too. You do this crap. I'm gonna go in your mirror and talk with mirror ladies. Wait! Something has been bothering me ever since you first appeared. You come and go as you please. The others didn't seem to see you. How is this possible? Are you a ghost? Are you even real? Why are you here? What, wait, why am I here? Cigarettes, apparently. That, I cannot answer. And that's my answer. What? You bitch, don't you turn my words around on me. I will mess you up as soon as I'm done smoking these thingies. I'm so awesome. Yeah, but no, don't smoke. It's it's bad for your health and other various things. Holy crap, I'm on fire. See, when you smoke, you get on fire. And you probably die. Probably. Usually. That guy's just a head. That's horrible. That's the man from before. How awful. I didn't think that the rot could progress so quickly. But why is he still smoking? When he is already so sick? Even if he gets cancer, I guess he probably won't be any worried about it. He must be worried. The cigarettes accelerate the sickness. But maybe that's what he wants. How can you want that? Do you feel sorry for him? No, just disgust. You'll come to understand when the rot is broken out in you. But I will not wait that long. Holy crap! No. We want you to voluntarily donate your body parts. Of course not! Who in the right mind would chose to do so? Release me at once! You cannot do this against my will! Dot. What are you, a monster? We've long since become beyond monsters. Damage the arm as little as possible. I cannot guarantee anything. Not with this wooden saw. You are all crazy! Wait, he took my arm? Jam it, that bastard! I'm gonna kick his ass. With my good foot. And punch him with my good arm. Because the other one belongs to a smoker now. What? What more do you want? Are you angry? Of course I am! I think your arm will be of good service for the man. 
You are just as sick as them. That was my arm. How can you be so cold? Are you enjoying it? I am not in a position to judge morality. But I think that man was far worse off than you. That doesn't give them the right to mutilate me like this. Now what? What will happen to me? They will come back. I want to get away. You'll find a way out if you search for one. Oh yeah, that's a convenient answer. I'll find a way out if I look. Oh, maybe it's the toilet. Is it the toilet? I got a screwdriver from the toilet? Can I get a chainsaw from the bed? Yes! I got a rod! And then, and that'll let me reach the key, right? You Use the rod, man! Use it with your good arm! Use the rod in the toilet, use the rod in the sink. Yes! And now I got a hook, and now I can get the key! What? I can't get the key without a hook? Maybe I can use it on the sink? The toilet again? The bed? This thing? Um, rocks? Uh, th this? Maybe I can use it to pick the lock? Can I, do I have to equip it? But I want to be a pirate! Oh my gosh! This is much better than just having two arms. Now I can have... Now I can have a pirate cook captain thing. I can be Captain Hook. But where do I use it? Seriously. Huh. What? Uh, maybe this thing? Yes. Rusty knife. Yes. String. This is really overcomplicated for such a tiny prison cell. I did like eight things trying to get the... The... Yeah, that key. This is... Incredibly overcomplicated. Can I use the string now? Can I use the hook and the string together? Yes! I'm a genius! But I want to keep the hook and string so I can use it to attack people. And kick that guy who stole my arm. I'll step on his neck if it's not already broken from the disease of me stepping on his neck. Yep, that's him. He's dead. There's a perfectly good spine right there in the street. But no, they had to take my body parts. They're not happy with just a spine. It looks worse. Apparently humans aren't the only thing affected by the rock. Not the squirrels! There must be some place safe. Well, we're gonna find out in the next episode. I just got out of prison. I'm gonna go smoke some... Not cigarettes. I'm going... To put a stick of incense in my mouth. And light it. And, and pretend I'm smoking. And all of the other people will think I'm cool. But I am cool. You know why? Because I don't poison my body with stuff except for... Lots and lots of Cheetos. Goodbye!